Hello, my name is Rian Blom with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video is about installing Avaya Aura Application Enablement Services Release 6.3.3 Super Patch 4 on a system with geo redundant high availability. First, I need to review some important notes regarding this Super Patch. Full details and instructions regarding this Super Patch can be found in Avaya Product Support Notice. 4418U. AE services release 6.3.3, Linux security update patch 1 and 2 should be installed prior to this patch. This demonstration is performed on the AE services virtual appliance for VMware offer. In this offer type, the patch is installed from command line as a root level user. The patch was already downloaded from Avaya PLDS and staged on the active. AES server. You should ensure you take a backup of the AES prior to installing this patch. And lastly, the patch installation will take AE services out of service for between 20 to 30 minutes. This is the AE services management console for the system I'm going to install this super patch on. Note that high availability or HA status is in a running state. You can leave HA running since this installation script will automatically stop and start HA as part of the patch installation. Before you start the patch installation, use a secure shell application like PuTTY to connect to the AES servers and ensure that they are running version 6.3.3 and also that both the Linux security updates have been installed. Next you can use the command show HA status to confirm that you are on the active server when installing the patch. Another very important item to check before installing the patch is the MD5 sum value. This checks that the file you have on the server matches the file that is provided on a via PLDS and that the file did not get corrupted in the transfer to the AES. You can match the MD5 sum to the value shown in PSN 4418U. Once you have verified all these checks, then you are ready to start the patch installation. The command to install the patch is provided in the PSN. Enter the command on the active AES server and follow the on-screen instructions. You'll notice as part of the installation, the script will automatically stop GRHA on the remote server. Also note that this script patches both the active and the standby servers, so you only have to run it once. On the screen layout shown, I am monitoring the HA.log on the standby AES, just to show when GRHA is stopped and started. You should receive a message advising that all RPMs have been successfully updated and patched, after which you will notice that GRHA is starting again. Once you are back at the command prompt on the active server, the patch installation is complete. Now you should use the SW version command to verify that Super Patch 4 shows on both the active and the standby servers. The last step to complete this Super Patch installation is to reboot each of the servers. To reboot AE services from the command line, you can type reboot and then enter the command. Each server will take roughly 5 minutes to reboot. What happens on geo-redundant high availability during each server's reboot depends on the failure detection timeout interval that you have configured on the high availability page on AES. 
Once both servers have been rebooted, you should verify that GRHA is again in active and standby mode, and then continue to test your third-party applications. That concludes this presentation. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.